this is no data governance. The wall of data is getting higher and wider by the minute at our companies. Even as I speak, as you sat here, the wall of your data probably has increased. So when we go up to that wall to get data, every time we need data, we've got big A, little A, and then A, like A maybe. Which A do we get? Who do I ask a question to? So if I need C and C is A plus B, is it A plus B or A plus B or A plus B or A plus B? And who, how do I make that determination? I'm very confused. Meanwhile, why do I, we have different out values for A? Why do our reports never match? And what does C even mean? And this adds to the need for data governance. When you have governed data, I want to share with you that we are going up to the wall. We are identifying these critical data elements and we are beginning the curation process. We are gonna profile that critical data element. We are going to protect and classify it. We're going to attach our access policies. Now that we know the source, the originating source, it opens up proactive data quality measures. We are able to attach regulatory and compliance. Our stewards and owners give us wonderful three paragraph definitions on how it was developed. AI and ML is attaching their routines so that if this data changes, they can keep their uh, standards high on their output and we have the ability to collaborate. Now we're all working off of a golden wall of data that is getting bigger. So we're attaching all of this at the wall instead of trying to get it off the wall down here. So what are you saying is that there's not a little a or capital A or A, there's only one A, which is critical data element. And yes. you know that what exactly it is, whether it's a capital A or a lower A or, or this yes. one. And exactly. that way you are only one person, only one data for one yep. definition is available. At that, exactly. everybody gets accurate decisions around it. Hey, yep. uh, I think, uh, yeah, if you have uh, two more minutes, you want to I do. that? <laughs> we can just sit here for lunch. <laughs> yeah. So we've got, um, we, in the past, we worked in silos with our data in our business. So we have analysts and they're doing things, but everything they're doing is facing away from everyone else. They're storing artifacts about the reports, but they're not accessible. They're not searchable. They're not transparent. Same thing with InfoSec. They may be doing things over here. So what data governance does is it organizes these individuals from working in silos to pulling the chair up at the table and then creating the process, procedures, functionality to make them integrated, searchable, auditable, and transparency for the things that are going to help everyone pull together. 